today's vlog, I will show how you go to the office in Dhaka. I have a personal motorbike, so I go to the office by motorbike. Let's watch the vlog of going to the office today. At this moment, I took out the motorbike from the house garage and left for the office. My home is at West Dhanmondi and my office is at Motisi. According to Google Maps, the distance from my house to the office is 7.2 km. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes at peak hours. The route to my office is Dhanmundi 8 number bridge via science lab, Dhaka University, Shikha Bhavan, Gulistan, then Motiji. Morning roads are a nightmare for the office going people in Dhaka city. Even after leaving with enough time, everyone worries whether they will be able to reach the office before the scheduled time. Despite having their own personal vehicle, many people often enter the office late due to the pressure of extra traffic on the road. But there is some relief in motorbikes. Motorbikes can move very quickly in a small space. Office going people in Dhaka city usually go to office by rickshaws, CNG autos, motorbikes, buses, human haulers and private cars. Very recently Metro Rail has been launched in some parts of Dhaka. Nowadays public transport in Dhaka city is in poor condition. So many office goers travel by rickshaw, CNG or sharing a ride. Uber and Pathau ride sharing are quite popular in Dhaka, although the number are small. Ride sharing motorbikes are also available for bargains here outside of Uber and Pathos. A few moments later. Nowadays, traffic congestion starts right from the doorstep in Dhaka city. According to World Bank report, the average traffic speed in Dhaka has dropped to 7 km per hour. According to BRTA, there are around 3.1 million registered vehicles in Bangladesh and Dhaka has around 1 million of them. In order to reduce traffic congestion, the government has undertaken some long-term projects, including three ring roads, five metro rail lines, two rapid bus routes, and 1200 kilometers of new roadways. The biggest problem of Dhaka city is traffic disorder. The tendency of drivers to obey the law on the roads 
of Dhaka is almost non-existent. Illegal parking is another big problem. Due to the extensive parking on the road, the road is narrowed, resulting in disruption of vehicular movement. Passenger buses pick up or drop off passengers wherever they are. Rickshaws don't obey the rules. Traffic on the wrong road is another major problem in Dhaka city. Many times accidents occur for wrong road vehicles. Slow vehicles like rickshaw are largely responsible for traffic congestion in Dhaka city. It is high time to ban rickshaws on main roads. This 400 year old city is unplanned. No residential area or school college has been developed in a planned way. The present government has undertaken several projects to build a better Dhaka. If the projects are implemented, maybe we will get the gift of a beautiful Dhaka city. A few moments later. At this moment, I am on the street in front of the Secretariat. There is heavy traffic on this road in the morning. Rickshaws move randomly in all lanes, thereby slowing down other vehicles. See, here because of rickshaws, big vehicles cannot speed up. Since their families depend on the rickshaw pullers, the rickshaw pullers should be stopped on the main roads of Dhaka and rehabilitated separately. Besides, there is no adequate provision of pedestrian crossings and pedestrians often cross the road due to these many accident occurs. Laws should be strict in cities. Lawful driving will reduce jams or traffic jaws to a great extent. I have come almost close to the office while talking. It takes around 30 minutes and I will be there shortly. There are very few places to park motorcycles in Dhaka city. My office has good parking facilities for motorcycles. After parking the motorbike, I will enter the office now. Thanks everyone. See you in the next vlog.